Hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, I got a story by here in front of me, and in the comment section, quite a lot, quite a lot of times, the anti-EV people have made a comment about electric cars getting written off much easier than petrol and diesel cars. Even people like, you know, the people like Not Jeff, they, they say things like that, off the cuff remarks that uh, electric cars get written off much easier. Um, now this story here is data driven and from the previous comments I know that the anti-EV people, and when I say anti-EV people, I don't mean people who want to keep their petrol or diesel car and are not really interested in electric cars. I'm all about, all about the people who hate EVs. Right? They hate them. They, they'll deny that they hate them or dislike them, but they do, they dislike them and hate them. So th th I'm directing this at them people. For some reason, they don't think data is valid and somebody from down the pub who says, hey, you never guess what? EVs are written off more than petrol and diesel cars. That's enough for them. They don't need data. That's just, that's all the validation they need. Um, down the pub sort of talk, chit chat, if you know what I mean. Now, uh, I don't know how long this, uh, <laughs> my waffle is going to go on for, but here, I wasn't, I, I don't expect to make a long video, but I'll try and say what I'm looking at by here is from Auto Express. You might have seen the article already. And to be honest, I'll be honest, I was a bit shocked by this article because so many times the anti EV brigade have said that EVs are more likely to be written off that I've even started believing that myself. <laughs> so it's funny, isn't it? Um, if it's said enough times, people will believe it. Um, so let's have a look what it says. I've waffled enough now, so let's have a look. The headline by Hugh, and this was on the 18th of September, the headline says, EVs are less likely to be written off than petrol or diesel. Ooh, shock. <laughs> and it says, new data, data, right, right? New data shows ICE cars have been written off at twice the rate, twice the rate of electric cars since 2015. Now, I know, look, stop. Anti-EV people, stop. Don't jump in the comment section and say, oh, yeah, but there's more petrol than diesel cars. That's not how data works. And if you think that's how data works, go and look up how data works, then come back to the comment section and say something sensible. Okay, right, so with that being said, and that was directed at the anti-EV people, um, because I was watching, a, something popped up on YouTube, I think it was two or three days ago, and it was, I think it was Jeremy Kyle and some bloke some northern bloke and he used to be on he was either on top gear or fifth gear i haven't seen him for a while he's not on any mainstream stuff anymore and they were both shouting about the ev mandate coming up in 2030 and 2035 and i'm not being funny they both sounded like a right pair of dumbos um so that was on is that talk tv was it talk tv jeremy kyle and some other geezer, I can't remember his name, but the video popped up and I thought, what a pair of thickies. Right, anyway, but let's get back to this story. Uh, right, uh, it says by Hugh, we all know the challenges electric cars have faced around insurance, whether that be higher than expected pre premiums, unexpected write-offs due to concerns around lightly damaged batteries or the failure of new Chinese brands to understand UK repair requirements. Now, what they're talking about there is like the lack of spare parts. Uh, cars can get written off. Now, this isn't um, EV specific. It, it's all cars. Um, headlights nowadays on cars. I've been through this a million times. Well, I say a million, about 10 times. Um, but headlights on cars, the ones with LED headlights and stuff, they might be hard to get brand new there might be a back order for certain parts and it's not just EV specific it's for petrol cars and diesel cars um, and it says yet in spite of all the ne negativity data from the 
CAP HB High Shade with Auto Express reveals the potentially surprising fact that since 2015, petrol and diesel cars have been written off at roughly twice the rate of their electric counterparts. And it says, according to the CA CAP, its study of cars under five years old in any given year from 2015 to August 2024 found that 0.9% of EVs were condemned as write-offs compared to 1.89% of the petrol and diesel stablemates. Um, and it says there's a similar gap when you look at cars aged one years old, where it's 0.2% of EVs and 0.4% of petrol and diesel. So what they're saying by here is that uh, petrol and diesel cars get written off more easier than electric cars. <laughs> so there we go. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, your auntie EV bunch. <laughs> um, so that's a bit of a shocker, isn't it? It's a bit of a shocker. Um, because, like I said, even I was believing that... Uh, uh, I mean, this is... I mean, I don't know where this is actually but different parts of the world might be different it might be different in different situations i'm not quite sure but in this article here that's what it says that's what it says <laughs> and that's data driven you know data actual data not what dave down the pub said because dave down the pub has got a lot to answer for dave down the pub has said a lot of things <laughs> that uh cast around in the comment section of youtube facebook and other places, especially the daily fail. So there we go. Make of that what you will. That was data driven, um, and it sort of puts that to bed, really, doesn't it? It shuts them up, doesn't it? It shuts up the anti EV people. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. If you did like this video and the bit of waffle, <laughs> give it a like, uh, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hoi!